Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm oh, fine, thank you. That's and you? Good. I'm good, thank you. How was work? Was work good? Was work bad? Work was good. Work was good, okay. Let's see where we stopped <clears throat> last time. Okay, we were busy with this. Okay, so we did that one. Okay. So change the sentences below, make A negative and B a question, then complete the rule. Okay, so we are going to try and turn these or change the sentence into something else. So let's give you an example, but my own example. Um, so let's just say, and supper was amazing. So we have to change it into a negative. So it'll be, and supper or dinner wasn't amazing. Okay, so that is how you need to do the first one. We need to change it to a negative. The second one needs to be a question. So we can say, uh, for example, Bob was a brilliant builder. So now we need to change it to a question. So it'll be, was um, Bob a brilliant builder? Okay, do you understand what they want or what they want you to do? Yeah. Okay. So how are you going to change one to a negative? How will you make one a negative? First time wasn't American. Good. Wasn't. Okay, but see, we use the word films, which means more than one. So we'll say weren't American. So you got to correct. We just need to use the correct word. So were will change to weren't. Okay, now how do we change B to a question? Mm. Okay, no, we need to change B into uh, a question. So Lionel Messi was a good student. How do we make that a question? Was, yes. Was yeah. No, we're not doing A, we're doing B. We're changing. Lionel Messi was a good student. We're making that into a question. So how do we turn that into a question? Mm. So we start with was, was is correct. Uh, was. Number, number, number. We're looking at B. Was. Uh, was uh, Leonel Messi. Were, 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 
NMSC Urugu student. Good. Okay, and then question mark. Well done. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so make the negative was or were plus not. So was not or were not, which will change to wasn't or weren't. Because remember, wasn't and weren't is contraction. So it's was not just made smaller. <clears throat> and then make a question with was or were plus the subject. Okay, speaking. Okay, what were your favorite things when you were a child? Think of examples for each of the items in the box. Okay, so they want to know who were your favorite people, what was your favorite music, um, what was your favorite activity or sport, your favorite TV program, and your favorite food when you were a child. So let's start with people. What? Who were your favorite people? People. What were your Friend. Uh, so this friend. Your friend, okay. So friend. my favorite person was my friend. Okay. So what was your favorite music? Music was was uh, rock. Was rock okay? Good. Okay, what was your favorite activity or sport? It was uh, sport. Was play football. Okay, it was football. Okay, what was your favorite TV program? TV. Was the Cartoon. Good. Okay. And what was your favorite food? Um, was snack. Was snacks. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, we did that. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're not going to do this for homework. We're going to do this now. I want you to take a few minutes and I want you to make sentences like what I made sentences. But now... You need to make full paragraphs. So, okay, we're at a time. Okay, so for example, I'm going to use mine. So I'm going to say, when I was a child, my favorite person was my grandmother. 
she loved us very much and took care of us. My favorite um, food was macaroni and cheese. We had that once a week. I love watching Charmed on TV. Um, my favorite sport was hockey, and I was good at it. Um, what was the other one? It was favorite person, favorite food, favorite sport. Oh. The music that I loved as a child was, I also like rock, <laughs> was rock. And I would get my music from my cousin. Um, and there was one more, but I can't remember. Okay, so see, I want you to take a few minutes, think about all your favorite things, and I want you to write uh, like a small story for me. Okay, so let's look at it. Um, okay, people, music, activity, or sport, TV program, and food. Okay, so I've given you an example. Yeah. When I uh, when I was a child, my favorite person was my brother. Uh, he uh, he often uh, take me go to game. Okay. Uh, my favorite food was snack. Okay. I um exhaust uh, every day. Okay. I like watching uh, watching uh Tom and Jerry cartoon on TV. My favorite sport were football. I, my my favorite music uh, was uh, rock and uh, sometime I and uh, my brother go to uh, to watch uh, watch uh, live music on the museum on the stadium okay good okay <clears throat> so just a few small things that i need to change um Okay, when I was a child, my favorite person was my brother. He often takes me to games. Okay, 
So he would, because remember it's past him. So we need to add the word. Let me make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so he would often take me to, and then over here we would add the word play. So would and play, and then games with an S. I like watching Tom and Jerry cartoon on TV. Okay, so remember it's past tense, so we add a D. I like watching Tom and Jerry cartoon on TV. Um, my favorite for sport, so we don't have to use the word for, <clears throat> was football. Good. My favorite music was rock, and sometimes I and my brother. Okay, in English, remember I said we put I last. So it's my brother goes there. So my brother and I. I'll write it over here. Um, and then again, we use the word would. Go. See, here we don't need to use to. Would go watch live music at the stadium. Okay. So, like, over here, you're not completely wrong. Just one of the English rules is you always put yourself last. So, it'll be my sister and I, my brother and I, my mother and I, my wife and I. But I will always come after the other person. Do you understand? Yes. Okay, good. But I'm happy you're starting to use your prepositions. So it, your sentences are getting a lot better. It's just like here, you use a preposition where we didn't need it. Here, you use the wrong one. But you're putting them in, which is important. Now we just need to work on which ones are correct. Okay, good. Okay, we finished that one. Let me just get your next one open for you. Okay. <clears throat> Next one. Okay, vocabulary. So a new word. Complete the phrases with a verb from the box. Okay. So we have go, meet, work, get, become, and start. So go to school or to university, something a chef or a model. Mm. Work, work, uh, chef. Not work a chef. What did you say? Yes, yeah, not work. Get get a chip. He come. Yes. Okay, next one. Something married yeah. for a job. Yes. Okay. Something your husband, your wife. Me, meet, meet your handsome husband. Good. Your husband or your wife. A new job, a company. Start. Good. 
something for Samsung or as a taxi driver? Work. Good. Okay. So do you have any plans for your future? Talk about it. Okay, so um, you already married, you already have a daughter. So what are your plans for your future? Do you want to start a new job? Do you want to get promoted? Do you know what promoted means? I have a plan uh, to repair home. Repair the home. Next month. Okay. Okay, good. So you want to repair your home next month. Good. Okay, reading. Read about their lives and put the sentences into the correct order. Find three things that Samaya and Lydia have in common. Okay. So here we're going to read. Um, okay. So it shows us. Okay. Yeah. Samia was born in Nigeria on 18th of August. 1993, in a village near Lagos. When she was 15, she went to university and studied information technology. In her fourth year at university, she met her future husband, Obi. And after they finished university, they got married. Her parents didn't have a lot of money, and the family lived in a small house. Samia's father worked as a taxi driver, and her mother was a teacher. Their apps made a lot of money, and with the money, Samia bought her parents a new home. In her childhood, Samia was shy, but her parents knew she was very intelligent. She was very good at math and computer games. Samia and Obi had some great ideas for apps, and together they started a company. The company made apps for teaching children math and English. Okay, so here we have to put them in the correct order. So A is number one. Which one do you think comes second? C. Mm. Okay, uh, it gives me all the answers, so let's try. C is two. Okay, what do you think mm. is three? E. Okay, what do you think is four? Um, B. Five? Yes. F and D. Okay. So let's see. C, uh, yes, E. B, F, D. Okay, well done. Okay, now we're going to read about this girl. Okay. Lydia was born on 18th August 1993 in Poland in a large town near Dansk. One day she went to a park in Rome to play basketball. And a man walked up to her and took pictures of it. It was her big moment, but she didn't become a basketball star. The man was a fashion photographer, and Lydia became a professional model. With the money from her first year's work, she bought her parents a new house. 
when she was 15, her family moved to Italy. Lydia thought, this is it. It's my big moment. She was very tall for her age and very beautiful, but she was shy. She hated school, but she loved sport and played basketball every day after school with a group of boys. She wanted to be an international basketball star. Okay, so A is one. Which one do you think is two? B. Okay, not B. F. I think it's D because uh, Rome. D. Okay, no, it is D. F. Good. No, it's F. Well done. I just double checked. Okay. F. F. D. 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 D, C. Sorry, say that again. D and C. Okay, five and six. Okay, let's see. So F, yes, D. Okay, no, so D is number three. D is number four. E is five and C is six. Good. Okay, so it's, um, yes, she was tall for her age. When she was 15, she moved to Italy. Then she went to a park in Rome to play basketball. Because Poland is not close to Rome, but Italy is close to Rome. <clears throat> Okay, complete the sentences with the past form of the verbs in brackets. Okay, so she started university at the age of 15, so start changes to started. She loved her life in the village. What does love change to? She loved. 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 She tried to be the best player. Try. Try. Tried. Tried. Good. Her app helped children learn English. Help her. Help. Her mother work in a school. Work. 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 Her parents moved to a new home. Moved. Moved. She enjoys sport but not studying. Enjoyed. Enjoyed. She asked the man about the pictures. Ask. 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 Very good. Okay. Read the last stories again and circle the past form of these regular verbs. So study, finish, live, work, start, walk. Move, hate, love, play, and want, then complete the rule. Okay, so make the past simple of regular verbs by adding D or ED to the verb. With the verb ending in a consonant plus Y. Do you remember what a consonant is? Okay. Change the Y to what? 
So what do we change the Y to? So if we have a, a, a verb like, let me just make my right bigger. Yes. So if we have try, the Y changes to an I, and then what do we add? Yes, E. E D. Good. Okay, listen to the pronunciation of regular verbs and write them in the correct place in the table. Okay, so we're going to see if it sounds like finished, that it sounds like it ends with a T, or if it ends with a hard D, or if it ends with an ID. Okay, so listen to how it sounds. Unit 6, recording 8. Finished. Lived. Started. Wanted. Worked. Played. Okay, so I'm going to play it again. Unit 6, recording 8. Finished. Lived. Okay, lived. Does it sound like a T, a D, or an ID? D. D. Started. Okay, started. D. Which one? D. D, D. Or T. Wanted. Wanted. Work. Wanted. 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 D. Okay, next one is work. Work, T. T. Worked. Played. Played. ED. Okay, so let's see. So work, live, played, started, and wanted. Okay, so listen to the difference. Finished sounds like a t. Lived sounds like a d. Started sounds like tid, t i d. So even though it shows an r d, we're looking for something that sounds more like a t i d. So usually, if the word ends in a T, it's got the ID sound. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. okay, write the past form of the irregular verbs below. Use the last stories to help. Okay, so go changes to when. What does have changed to in the past tense? Had. Make. 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 Okay, no, this is irregular verbs. So 
the word will change altogether. So with an irregular verb, we don't add an ed. The word will change. Make. Yeah, it's made. Made. What does no change to? New. What does buy change to? Uh, bought. Yes, Bye. good. And take. And, uh, book. Book. Become. Became. Think. Think. Oh. Oh. Thought. Good. Oh. Okay. Read the sentences and complete the rules. So Samia's parents didn't have a lot of money. Did she go to university? <coughs> Okay, so we make a negative by adding what before the infinitive. It, uh, not, it not. Good. Make the question by a form by adding something, then the subject, then you, he, she, etc., and the verb. Art. Okay, did. It. Good. <clears throat> okay, think about a friend you don't see now and complete the questions below. Where <laughs> and when you meet. So how do we finish that sentence? Where you where did you meet? Good. Why you like each other? Why did, did you like each Good. other? You do a lot of things together. Did you do a lot of things? Okay. How often do you speak to each other? How often did you speak? When you last see him or her? When did you last see Good. him? Or her? What you do then? Good. Okay, we are finished for today. And I will see you again on Friday. Yes. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye.